Hey guys, welcome back to another The Honor Call of the Wild video. Today we are headed out here on Emerald Coast to begin our participation on a brand new Call of the Wild weekly competition. This time we'll be competing on an Emerald Coast mega competition that essentially consists of killing 10 of the 14 different species that are present on the map, including the 8 that are exclusive to the reserve. And in case you didn't know, this is a competition that you can also join whenever you want simply by joining my Discord server by clicking the link on the description below. Once you are there, just make sure to check the announcement channel under the Call of the Wild competition tab and there you'll see the current active competition. Now, before we start hunting for this video, big shout out to Bert for being the winner of the last competition, which was an exciting triple tier competition that consisted in getting the biggest white tail, the biggest rose belt tail, and the biggest black tail you could possibly get without counting great ones. It was a hard fought challenge with more than 20 participants, but at the end it ended up being a very fun competition. I don't think that's a common. We are being attacked by a couple kangaroos, but man, I can't believe that we found a rare before even finding a big ult. You know, our goal today is not to find rares, not to find diamonds, our goal today is to find big ults, but if we happen to stumble across something like this, which I believe is a leucistic, we are definitely not gonna ignore it. I just saw him coming back. They are walking this way. Fortunately, I saw him on time because a couple seconds later and they would have spooked. They are very, very close. Right there. Some of them are already going past our position. I don't think the rare has though. Haven't seen it. Maybe she's over there already and we didn't realize. Just making sure that isn't the case. Oh, that's her. Less than 20 meters out apparently. Should be a very easy shot with the 44. She's down. So yeah, this female is without any doubt a leucistic. Looks amazing. In my opinion, this is the best part about these calls only competitions. You go to a map looking for only calls, but a lot of times you end up coming across some completely unexpected trophies. What a nice find. It is only female, but I'll take it. We had to spend like 30 minutes tracking it. These kangaroos can definitely be hard to chase, but if you're patient and you choose to simply walk behind them, you're eventually gonna reach them and you're gonna have a chance to shoot them. Now, that one is a gold for sure. Level 4 Sambardir with a top estimate of 144. I don't care if it is not especially big, because our main goal before anything else has to be to get at least one gold of every of the 10 species, because that should be enough to give us a decent chance to get within the top 5 on the leaderboard. And once we already submitted all the goals, we can start thinking about improving those scores in order to potentially win the competition. We'll see. Now, this Sambardir has a score of 140.09, which is decent, so we're gonna take a screenshot of this harvest screen, as well as a screenshot of our latest harvest, because in order for a submission to count, we need to submit both pictures to the right sub-channel within the competition submissions channel, on this case to the Sambardir sub-channel, and we also need to make sure to do so within 6 hours of harvest. In about time. A truly big track that guarantees us at least a big gold, because it could also be diamond. Honestly, I kinda want this guy to make it, even though what we truly need is a big gold, but either way it's a win-win. You know, that's actually another of the cool things about these calls only competitions. You simply can't be mad about getting a troll, because they are the most valuable things you can get. Level 3 and level 3. Is that the same herd? I don't see any other male, so maybe a different one. Okay, that's the resting zone. So I wonder if they were better right there just a few seconds ago, because right now we're at the Banting rest line. If I'm not mistaken. Oh, they are still right here. They are still right here. Oh, that one is the big one. That's the big one right there, I saw some big horns. Right here, look at the size of that. Label 4. It is promising. That will do it. Now the question is, how big is this level 4? Is it gonna be a huge gold or a diamond? 
Either way is a nice find, but I definitely hope that the first take all 3 scores like as close to diamond as possible. And it is a 134.88, it is a gold. The diamond score is 137, so it is not that far. I mean, it could have been closer for sure, but it's decent, and definitely among the biggest that have been posted so far on this competition. That's a big crocodile. Up to 1091 estimate, it is only a mythical. Now, I didn't realize before, but there's actually another mythical very close to the big one. It also seems to be big, but the estimate is definitely not as promising. So far, the highest scoring gold crocodile that has been killed on this competition had a score of 1013.19, it was actually a troll level 9, so I definitely don't expect this guy to score close to that one because we would need another level 9 for that, but I would say that if we manage to get one that scores above 980, it would be very very helpful for our overall score after counting all the species. Well, seemingly there's another bull way closer to a shore that I didn't realize was there. And now we're getting attacked. Of course. I guess we'll have to shoot the two mythicals under pressure. Oh, come on. Okay, the first one is down, the big one. Now I'ma go for the second mythical. Which luckily is still there, he hasn't spooked. Come on, man, just stop. Right there. That will do it, that was also in egg shot. So let's harvest this one, that I believe was the one with the smaller estimate. Yeah, 902.28. I was hoping he would score way closer to the top of the estimate, but we weren't that lucky this time, and he ended up scoring pretty much right in the middle. Now let's see a score of the second level 8, which luckily had a much more promising estimate. How big is it? Is it gonna score close to a thousand? 992.45, okay. Very nice score for a mythical. It is not too far from being a small level 9 because some trolls even score below a thousand. And actually I just went to check and this guy would be the second biggest crocodile that has been posted so far on this competition after the 1013 I just mentioned, out of like 10 submissions. So it is a very nice find, undoubtedly. Now, for some reason, which I imagine is due to connection issues, we are not being able to claim this crocodile. That's a problem. That's a very big problem because we need to claim it or otherwise it's not gonna appear on our latest harvest. Oh, no way. We got disconnected. Holy! For a moment I thought it was a level 5, it is a level 4. And a really big level 4 with a bottom estimate of 132. It is crazy that we happened to stumble across this guy because I was on my way to harvest the level 8 crocodile again, which should be around this waypoint. And now we have a chance to drop another massive gold simply because we got disconnected. I had no plans to return to this area after harvesting the level 8. So thanks to that disconnection, we're gonna have another very useful gold for the competition. He is going down. What is the score? What? On saved harvest. I feel that if I click OK, it's gonna close the harvest screen. Yeah, now it's gone. I didn't even have a chance to take a screenshot. It was a 136. Fortunately, we have the clip of us entering the harvest screen, so we can take the screenshot of the clip in order to submit it on the competition. At least the crocodile is still here, so let's just claim it. Look at that. The first max level of the hunt. Right here. And the best part, at least on this case, is that it is a guaranteed troll. So I wonder if it is actually any bigger than the level 4 we got on the last server, because with these rusas you never know, since some level 5s score even lower than some big level 4s.
Oh, right there. They are close. They seem to be fleeing from a crocodile. That's why they are running this way. Where's the five? Is that even the same herd? Well, I guess that answers our question. He's right there. And he's at a perfect distance to take the shot on the throat. Let's see. He's down. Man, I'm not sure, eh? I really want this tag to score in the 140s, but to be honest, the antlers look identical to the antlers of that 136. Let's hope it scores way higher. 137.33. Alright. We wanted it to be bigger, and it is one point bigger. I mean, I will take it. At the end of the competition, these few points could make the difference. Ooh. Level 5. Hog deer. I'm honestly in two minds at the moment. On one hand, I want this guy to troll in order to keep ranking higher on the competition leaderboard, but on the other hand, it's been a while since my last time on Hogdeer. So I don't know. Well, at the end of the day, the only reason why I came to this map is to participate on this competition, so I guess this guy being a troll would be the best outcome. But I won't complain if it is a diamond, you know what I mean? I'll be happy either way. Unless we mess it up. He is currently behind those two females. But we can see part of the shoulder from here. So we should be able to hit him. Let's see. And I think he's down. Odds are that this guy is actually diamond, but since his top estimate was not too high, there's also a very good chance he trolls, and a troll would be amazing. I would have never thought I would ever say that, but for this competition, the trolls are the best thing you can get. And it is a gold. 107.09, let's go. 107.09, that's a big one. I don't think I've ever been so happy about getting a troll. And after getting this monster, our total score is currently enough to temporarily place us on the ninth place of the competition standings with 4 days to go. We still have another 4 days to get the remaining species, as well as to improve the scores of all the animals we already got. And again, if any of you wants to join this competition, you are free to do so whenever you want, simply by joining my Discord server.